What about Nelson Piquet then? How do you reflect on him? And did you enjoy your time as a teammate with him? Yeah, well, first of all, I always enjoyed uh, my 17 uh, years of Formula One, even the low times. Uh, now, I still have a very good relationship uh, with all the teammates I had. And, uh, of course, also with uh, Nelson, I, I still have a very good friendship. And uh, I, it was a, when I came to Brabant, he was a already world champion because he, he's, he won in 1981. But uh, the atmosphere was very good. It was very familiar, the team, and uh, his attitude was always uh, very, uh, I you say, a good time all the time, uh, always jokes. And uh, so at the end, at the end, they were two years really very good with, uh, with Nelson. Uh, the team, uh, it was a, like a family team, uh, Gordon, uh, Charlie Whiting uh, was the chief mechanic, uh, Harry Blash, and of course, uh, Bernie. We were always uh, together and, uh, and of course, also very competitive because, uh, you know, in 1983, in 83, we won the championship. The car was very, very, very good. As the 1982 car, they aspirated that I, I won my first Grand Prix in Monaco. But I can just say one, one thing. The first day of testing, I went to Poricar because, the, you know, in, in winter time we were testing a lot of in Poricar. And uh, okay, yeah, and I met uh, all the team, and, and Nelson was there. We changed in the in the motor room together, me and Nelson talking, and then we went uh, for the for the day of testing. At the end of the day, uh, it was already dark because winter time, five o'clock uh, was dark. Uh, I, I went back to change, and suddenly I, I couldn't find my trousers. I said, uh, okay, and now what I do, but I would like to find my trousers. So I went uh, around and uh, nobody knew about uh, the trousers, where they were. And I said, uh, I, I mean, I left here in the motor room. Uh, can I, you know, they, they must be somewhere. After half an hour that I was going around uh, to look uh, for the trousers, uh, my mechanic came and said, come, come, come. Uh, uh, out uh, of the garage, uh, of the garages, uh, there were very high poles uh, 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 where the flags uh, they were standing, uh, usually. And in one of these poles, uh, about uh, 20 meters high, there were my trousers, like, uh, you know, a, a flag <laughs> that uh, they were <laughs> on the top of the pole at uh, 20 meters uh, high. And I said, uh, who did this? Who did that? Of course, Nelson. That it was my first day with the team, you know, and immediately a joke just to start. And he went on like that for two years. That yeah. Welcome to the team, Ricardo. Welcome to the team. Exactly. Welcome to the team. How quick was he? Was he your quickest teammate? No, the quickest teammate I had, I think, it was Michael. Michael Schumacher at Benetton in '93. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, Alan Johnson was a world champion, fantastic. Mm, uh, Nelson was a world champion, fantastic. Uh, Nigel as well, but uh, who was uh, outstanding about speed and think that uh, he could do into the car, it was Michael, because uh, he's the only driver that I reckon together with Senna, uh, even uh, with an inferior car, they could win races and try to aim to, to win a championship. So they could make that big, uh, small step ahead, even with a, a car that was a, not a winning car, that they could win the races. I mean, uh, Alan Jones, when he won, when he won, when he won the championship, he had the best car of that championship. He was stronger. The same for Nelson. Even if, uh, you know, yeah, we, he had to fight a lot, uh, but especially in 1981, I think he had the very best car. In 83, the fight was very strong with Renault. And uh, when uh, Niger won in 1992, we had uh, a so superior car that uh, he had to fight uh, only, all, only against me. But uh, Michael Schumacher, the speed that he could produce in, in the car, into the car and... Uh, uh, the thing that I saw that he could do, uh, it was for me different from all the others that I could see. 